Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this file and they needed an outline. Instead of using a yellow box trick, I'm going to use a blue box trick. Because the object is yellow, they're going to print it on a t-shirt, but he needs a black line around it. But it is in, or a, a, like a black border all the way around it. Uh, this video is not going to help too many people because this very seldom would ever happen. I've never seen it before. We're going to view it in wireframe. There's a lot going on. There's lines sticking out. And also in wireframe, you've got a little yellow speck for the one I'm doing the video for. You've got a little yellow speck right there. So be careful because that would probably print if we look at it enhanced. It's on, almost invisible, but you can remove that by going to object group and ungroup it. So make sure you get rid of that little leftover arrow. But just by chance, I found, I, I was really working with it. I was going to go, so I'm going to go left click, no fill, right click outline, and you see all the outlines. Now we're going to go to object, we've, we've already ungrouped it, so we're good. I was thinking about just redoing the circles. So I'm going to click on that circle. I need to go to object and group, break the curve apart, grab that item and delete it. Didn't change anything, but watch what happens now. I'm going to nudge that over. Well, I didn't set my nudge factor on four inches. Grab that item we got in the whole box. Look at that. There is a black background, solid line. So let's go. Really what I should have done. Made a little mistake here. We got our regular one. Set your nudge factor on four inches. Now this, don't expect this to probably over ever happen again. Then take that item, let's look at this, and not wireframe, but just like this. Remove that circle, grab that. Now it's not gonna do it. There's our outline. Just delete this. Now it's gonna be behind our fill, but if we go to object, order, and in front of page, you can see the outline, but there's a little yellow still left. So why not just take it, nudge that over, go up to effects and contour, and let's just contour it 0 0.01 to the outside. Just a hair, object, uh, break contour apart, grab the inside one and nudge it down, grab the new one and nudge it over, and we're right on the edge. And then you could play with point size, make it thicker, and whatever you want to do. It's still got a little problem right in here, but if you take these nodes and just delete a few nodes, kind of round off that circle, I think there's going to be one more whenever you see a bunch of, look at that. That's just the result of what's going on with those outer, outer line. So this, you'd really almost want to re, recircle that. Um, and... You know, this would be a good way. This will make the video maybe helpful for other people. Let's select those two nodes and let's right click and break apart. And then let's delete that line. And there's what's going on. That's why it did it because that color has so many colors. Let's don't delete anything. Let's just grab that. Well, break curve apart. Grab that circle and move it out of the way. So that looks pretty good. So what I would do is just take an ellipse, the appropriate size, wow, hit it first time. And remember we made it like, let's see what the point size is, two points. Make this two points. So if you can't make it work, just redraw it. That might even be better to do on, well, also got a little black, space in there we don't need. Let's see if our friend virtual segment delete key will help us. Nope. So in that case, what I'm going to do, I'm going to nudge it out of the way. And I'm going to nudge my other boundary out of the way. And now my virtual segment delete key should work. Nope. It's because these lines so it's back up here. Well, what did I do? There it is. 
what we can do is take these lines and very carefully extend them. And then take the virtual segment delete key and delete that. Then we could actually just take it and delete that and that. And then take these nodes, hold down the shift key, select those, go up to windows, dockers, join curves, and it joined that, well, no, it didn't. There we go. Make sure you select them all. So now that circle is joined. So this ended up not being too bad of a video. And then just nudge it over and you've got an outline around that black. I think your other circles are good. You got a little bit of a problem right there. So you just leach some nodes and make that circle round. If I was doing this for a customer, I would maybe draw the outline uh, from scratch and uh, put the, well, not the whole outline, but make sure these ball do what we did down here. But that, you know, I don't know how big this thing's going to be. You know, you said a t-shirt, you know, it's got to be at least, let's get rid of this. And this is really none of my expertise here. Let's say, you know, that's seven inches, seven inch. No, you know what? It's for just like a badge. It may be going to be just that small. But that would work. You know, I'm guessing they're going to print it on a, let's say a blue shirt or a, certainly not a red shirt and put it to the back of the ground. Maybe that's why they want the outline to kind of make that stand off. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.